guys, welcome to another vlog. Today is gonna be a solo day. I'm gonna spend the day on my own, which yes, I do spend most of my days on my own already, but we're gonna be going places. So I'm gonna take myself out on like a date and just kind of do some of my favorite things. So we're gonna start off today with a run. I am on day two, week two of my Couch to 5K app. Then we're gonna go to Bishop Arts, my favorite coffee place. I'm gonna get some work done. I do have some calls. I want to shop around Bishop Arts, and then I'm going to go to Wild Lake and get my next ear piercing, hopefully get my nails done, because, like, look at this. They look really bad, and they broke. Like, I had, like, three nails breaking. So I'm going to possibly switch nail places and try a new one. I have Pilates tonight with a friend. Like, we're going to have a good day. So if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Um, I just think being able to spend time by yourself is really important and while i spend most of my days by myself i wanted to like take myself out you know so hopefully this inspires y'all to go take a solo day if it does tag me on instagram anyways i'm off 7 30 right now i wish i would have booked a little bit earlier um because i kind of need a little more time this morning to get ready i have a call earlier but it's okay i have my headphones on these are bows i got them at target they're incredible, I love them. Feels like you're not even wearing anything. Like it's the equivalent of my Jennifer Fisher hoops, but in headphones, you know? Also, my set is Year of Ours. Let me show you. It is like the cutest set ever. Like even my mom and grandma compliment this one. That's how you know. Like so cute. I just got back from my run. When am I gonna start liking running, guys? Um, just kidding, kind of. But anyways, I got a package for Seth's fourth birthday. First off, another ice roller, which I can never have too many because I lose them all the time. I'm on my like, fourth one. Um, and then we got a bunch of this like PR. Oh, I actually been needing these so bad. I was gonna order them on Amazon. Um, we got some sunscreen serum, melt away cleansing balm, a copper firming mist. Lip gloss, blush, tan luxe, water, hydrating self tanner water. I got some shorts, the matching t shirt, the box cut bra. These are my favorite bras from them. And then my second favorite are their one shoulder bras. Um, and I've been sizing up in their bras recently. I normally get a like medium in bottoms and then a medium in top, but I've been getting a large in top just because I feel like with this specific line, whatever this is, I feel like the tops run a little bit smaller. I don't know, but a box cut bra, I guess a medium. So anyways, hope that helps guys. Um, I never know the colors ever, but I love them. I'm really excited. I'm currently getting ready. Also, I just have to say the Okind like pop on tops are the best quality. This is not the Okind. We don't have a white one. Um, I said the same. Mm, are so much better. Anyways, I'm getting ready. I've been using a few new products lately. I know I am so behind on this, but the Thrive Market Mascara, I will never use a different mascara ever again. They are a podcast sponsor. I don't know my code. I will look that up. Um, it's on my like, podcast descriptions if I happen to forget all of the stuff there. But this is the best mascara I've ever used. Let me show you. So I curl my lashes. <sighs> all right. Now I apply first off. I mean, like the packaging itself isn't necessarily like the branding isn't like my vibe exactly. Like clearly if you look at it, like my whatever. Okay, so this is like almost a little bit heavier, I'll say. Goes out like this. Um, the wand is very different than any other wand I've used, but like barely any on, and then it's like a really natural look. And then it's very buildable too, but I'm gonna keep it at this. I mean, unreal, like literally unreal. I don't know how much you can even see in my eyelashes. Just trust me, it's the best mascara I've used in my entire life. Like nothing touches it. I always hear the most insane things about their mascara. And I'm here to let you know, it is incredible. I cannot stop listening to the Twilight Effect. Um, I've been listening to the interviews and now I'm going back and listening to the like rewatches. I was like the biggest Twilight fan ever growing up. I read the books literally in fifth grade. I went to every single premiere. I still watch the movies to this day. I am so attached to the series and the podcast is just making my life. All right, guys, here is what I'm wearing today. It's a very summer outfit, my full disclosure shorts. This tank top, I honestly have no idea where it's from, but just like a black tank top. This is just an H&M like button up um and then i'm wearing converse i'm actually wearing converse a lot lately because i wear them with oh my socks are too long I wear them with dresses too and then i think i'm just gonna wear this 
black Balenciaga bag and then I'm gonna take a, uh, my tote from the Okind because I'm gonna get some work done. So since I'm having a nice solo day and treating myself, I'm, oh, okay. I'm going to go um, to Bishop Arts. Bishop Arts is like one of my favorite neighborhoods in Dallas. It's so cool. I honestly just don't go that often because it's just kind of out of the way from where we all live. But they have my favorite coffee shop breakfast restaurant place ever called Tribal. It's so good. Um, I've taken those in vlogs before, but I'm really excited to go back and get some work done um, and get everything together. So I'm going to hot Pilates tonight, so I don't want to wash my hair because I have to like wash it twice. So I'm just kind of like letting the braid do its thing. Sunglasses. It really is officially summer, y'all. Like, I know it's not technically, but like to me, after Memorial Day, it's summer. Honestly, I live in Texas, so before Memorial Day, it's summer. All right, I just made it to Bishop Arts. This neighborhood is so cute. Emporium Pie is so good. We have that in my hometown, McKinney as well. Paradiso, best brunch place ever. Get the biscuits and gravy. It's like a bougie version of biscuits and gravy. So good. That used to be where my favorite matcha was when they closed in the pandemic. So anyways, I'm walking over to Tribal. I have to get on a call in eight minutes. Oh my God, that squirrel was so loud. Oh my God, okay. Anyways, um, I have to get on a call in eight minutes, so I actually need to hurry up. I think they also opened a new restaurant right there. The guy told me that last time I was here, but I haven't been here in so long. It's been a bit. All right, this is my favorite breakfast. I got the harvest bowl. Anything with sweet potatoes I love. And this is the good morning. It's like espresso and orange juice. I know it sounds disgusting, but then you mix it. Um, and it is like the best drink ever, I promise you. It sounds gross. You just have to trust me, come try it. Every single person I've showed this to loves it. So good. So this is Tribal, literally my favorite place. I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. I don't need to leave for about another like hour. I just kind of want to walk around and see. Also, I want to stop it like by Denovo. That's where my pop-up is next weekend. I'm so excited. That's so cute. That store is so cute, guys. Just shopping around. Like I need to go to the, ka the karaoke place. That's where I need to go. So cute, another one. Again, like so cute. I wanna go in here because the sign really has me. Like, so fun. Oh my god, I'm actually dead. All right y'all, so this is where I'm having my pop-up next weekend at Genova Active. Great location, all the cute shops. Tribal is right there. Hopefully you guys will be there. I'm very excited. I'm also gonna stop in Caffeinated Beauty Bar. Shop small first. That's what I love about Texas. It's so cute. Just doing more shopping. I just went to Dolly and Python. Dolly on Python, which is like one of my favorite stores in Dallas. It's so cute, love that. So cute, like I need this. Also, I love that. Made it to the shops at Highland Park. I'm gonna go get a matcha at Merritt. I also just dropped my camera, so that's good. All right, y'all, I'm going to get another ear piercing at Wild Bike. This place is so cool. I'm gonna take you guys in. I went here a few weeks ago. I mean, it's just the cutest. They're so cute. Yeah. All right, I just got out. I'm confused by this weather right now. Also, it's like raining now. What's going on? I'm confused Guys like first off this my skin right here won't stop breaking out in that place and I'm breaking out here like <sighs> What is it because I didn't break out when I was younger and now I feel like I'm being dramatic by saying I have adult acne like it's not really that bad But like why and I is that like hormonal, but I'm not on my period and I'm, I don't I, I sleep on that side, but Maybe I'll just go get silk pillowcases again 
that might be what I have to do. But anyways, I have this earring in. It says P. I don't know if it's even in focus. How cute is that? And then I also got this one that's like princess cut pink. Um, that's at least what they told me. I love it. I got went to Wild Like. If you guys go for the first time, it's like Wildy 10. Um, you get 10% off. It's so cute, especially if you ever do like a bachelorette or something. Oh, or something in Dallas. I would really recommend it. Or like an event. Like everything is so cute. I'm in Uptown now. I'm gonna go to a new nail salon. I think it's called Adore. Um, actually, a lot of my friends go here, and I need a new place. And I think I'm gonna start doing Gel X. Updates to come. just started pouring while I was in my appointment and I love rain. This is like my perfect day ever. The thunderstorm, I'm supposed to be going to Pilates. Like what? I am the, oh, that was a raindrop in my eye. That was a raindrop in my eye. Okay. I am, oh, loving today, the solo day. Now that it's raining, it makes me not want to go to Pilates and stay home and cook. Make a soup, I have a soup that I was gonna make too, but I made a commitment and I think I'm still gonna go. So anyways, I'm heading home. I, it's 4 p.m. and I forgot to grab lunch because I ate breakfast kind of late. So I have sweet green waiting for me when I get home. Oh my God, you guys, the thunderstorms. Like, I don't know if I can drive to Pilates. Like maybe I, maybe I shouldn't be going, you know? It is pouring right now, like so bad. I parked in my driveway and I walked outside to get my bag, or I walked around to get my bag and then I walked outside. I walked out. I walked upstairs. No, I walked in my house. Oh my gosh. This is also a dress on me, but got soaked. So I had to change already. I'm supposed to go to Pilates in like an hour, but honestly, like I'm not that person. In Texas, you can't drive in the rain because my parents are actually from the Midwest originally. Um, like grew up there. Maybe I can't, maybe I can't drive in that anymore. And also I could like make soup, but I kind of do feel like going to Pilates. So I think I'm still gonna go. For some reason I feel like it. And I think, I know this is a solo day, but I have a friend who's going to the class. Like we're not going together, we're just both going to the same class. So, okay, I ordered some dresses. I'm really trying to be a lot more like intentional with where I'm buying and purchasing. Since starting my own brand, it's like made me look at things very differently. So I do want to start shopping smaller a lot more. With that being said, I did order um, some dresses from Princess Polly just because in the summer in Texas, it's normally really hot. I mean, right now it's really cozy and rainy and I'm like living for it, but obviously it gets really hot. So I needed some dresses to just wear day to day because I like live in dresses and this one, oh my God, already so cute. <gasps> and this dress is gonna look so cute with the Jordans I just ordered. <laughs> Guys, uh, I love it. It's so much cuter even in person, like I'm obsessed. I will try to link all these for you guys as well. This one is more of a like night out sort of vibe, but I told my friends that this summer we're gonna work on being mature. And while we love Henderson and we will be at Henderson all the time, we need to start going to places, unfortunately, that are like more, I don't know, more like night out-ish and step outside of our comfort zone. I'm getting really comfortable socially. You know what, we'll talk about this in a second, but okay, this dress, so cute, little mini dress. I love the color. When you like Princess Polly dresses, they just, they're so good. Abercrombie also has good ones. This one, I mean, oh my God, guys. All of these are like a 10 out of 10. Little baby doll, like pink dress. So casual, so cute, like, oh my God. I got this top, because I'm always in need of tops, and I thought it was like different. One, it, it has straps, which I like having straps, just because I have a larger chest, so it's like harder to wear strapless stuff, I feel like, unless it's, I'm sure like the more expensive nicer tops you can do but like whatever you know got this top Oh my god. This is so pretty this beautiful Blue dress. It is so cute love. Oh my god. I have dinner with a friend tomorrow night, too So like, I'm actually excited to get dressed. Okay, this dress. I just love this with cowboy boots I mean like southern belle Living for it so easy and dainty. I hate like all this plastic like very annoying. Um, okay, this top is gonna be, we'll see if I like it or not. If not, I'll probably just give it to a friend. Again, it's strapless and I feel like it has this around so I feel like it'll stay up, but that's so cute. It's also really good for like boob sweat and stuff, like these kind of tops. So, love that. I got this little dainty white top. Again, not super tight fitted. So it's good for Texas summers when you are dying. Really cute. I got this one, which is a little bit nicer. 
It's more of a cream, like silky little moment. You know what? I need to get more into skirts. Like, where do you all buy your skirts? I feel like skirts are actually kind of hard to find. Ones that I like really love. I feel like I always get them and I'm like, it's fine. This is really cute. Maybe I should wear this to New York. Wow. For my live show, June 20th, buy tickets, link below, um, in New York City. The week before, my best girlfriends from Dallas are coming with me, which I'm so excited for. So we're doing a little girls weekend. Um, there's six of us total, including me and Dom. So um, I'm trying to like have all my outfits and everything planned really well this time. So I really like my fits and we can actually get like cute photos and stuff because like I know I'm an influencer but I'm really bad about that stuff and I want to start caring and my friends and I spend like literally every moment together and you would never know it because we don't take photos, I don't take photos, it just doesn't work. Anyways, we got a Harvest Bowl from Sweet Green, and I'm going to put on the chips. My phone's charging right now and like really think about, think about my priorities. Like I think it's stopping right now. I think it's going to stop within the next like 45 because I need to leave then and traffic's gonna be bad my Pilates place is like 20 minutes away alright guys I've just been on my laptop again working my lips are so chopped my skin is just so weird I got a facial yesterday though I feel like it'll get better or this is why it's worse anyways not going to Pilates because it was storming so bad and actually I forgot Coconut like freaks out at storms and she was like literally clawing on me like a cat essentially Anyways class would have started five minutes ago and it's now sunny out and so it rained for no reason because I was gonna go out early in the morning and like go on the rooftop too, which like now I can't do so whatever Also, I in college was obsessed with the show This is us and it just ended and I did stop watching because they were just like spreading their episodes out too far and I was getting confused, but I think I'm going to try to see where I left off and then watch that. Um, it's 6 p.m. and I'm gonna start making dinner. I've been making like, you know, just vegetable soup with bone broth a ton, but this time I'm gonna add in kale and chicken. I will like love that, you know? So that's what I'm doing. All right, I'm starting to cook. I'm gonna do a little loops face mask in the meantime. These are my favorite face masks. I don't do face masks like that often, but when I do, they're loops. These are the best masks ever. Like, I really like cherish them with everything that I have because they're so nice. So I haven't done a yellow one yet, but like watch this, guys. The fact that it's sunny out now is killing my vibe. I was hoping for a rainy night in with candles, reading, and cooking, okay? It's not giving me what I wanted. It's also messing up my hair washing schedule. These nails are so good, but update, that is my new hair nail salon in Dallas. Like I will never go anywhere else. It was the least, like you know a lot of the time, it sounds stupid unless like you know it, but oh God, this is freezing. So I kept this one in the freezer. It's really a lot. Woo, woo, okay. Love that, so it's the bottom. But you know how like a lot of the time, Nail salons can be like really overwhelming because they're loud and there's a lot of people and they're like in and out really rushing you, which I get like obviously you want things to go fast. I don't like waiting there long at all, but they can just be like really overwhelming and that was the most peaceful, like they played like jazz music. I felt like you were shopping at Christmas. It was the most peaceful, but not like the busy time of Christmas. It was just very cozy and peaceful and I loved it there and it's my new place and I will continue to go. Wow, so that's my mask. Oh wow, oh wow, 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 wow. Gonna get to cooking now. This is us is on. I don't know why I'm subjecting myself to this because it is the saddest show on television. But it had to be done, I have to finish it, you know? Just made so much soup. So this is what I'm gonna be eating from home for the next 
few days, like pretty much every single meal. Um, what I do is I do carrots, celery, onion, which are the basis of almost like every soup that I make, and then I add in potatoes. This time I added it in bone broth, so it gets pricey because bone broth is pretty expensive, but it's really good for you, and it's really easy for me to get it out with the soup. And then also, I added chicken and kale this time, which I normally don't, really don't do, just get more protein, and then obviously greens. So, anyways, it's very good. Bone broth is actually incredible. Like, I can actually just drink it in a mug, but in the summer, it's just not really the vibe. So I've been loving this vegetable soup. I know I've made it in vlogs recently, but in case you guys are interested, also I use Kettle and Fire Bone Broth. I love it. Obviously, bone broth is a lot more expensive than stock, but there's just so many benefits to it. So anyways, that's how I, that's how I do this. Cheers, everyone. Do y'all ever leave your face mask on for like way too long? This has probably been on for like 40 minutes. It takes a second to make a soup. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Anyways, for This Is Us, I'm starting at season five, episode one. Um, I think I probably have seen some of this, but I really did stop. Like, I don't know what was going on. Like, why were they spreading out the episode so much? I'm also going to do my red light therapy with the blue light on um, for acne to hopefully get this stuff down. Um, also, does anyone who hosts my channel, too, does anyone keep up with, like, BFS podcasts? I feel like very different demographics. But I love bfs i love all the tiktok drama like i'm very invested at this point i got invested during like the breakup scandal and stuff i had never even heard of like sway or whatever that is was i don't know if it still exists so i guess i'm not that into it but i do like bfs and i think it's funny and i love brianna chicken fried that's really why i like it anyways it's obviously very juicy right now and i think you know what? i think it actually premieres tomorrow dang it the kardashians new show is out tonight we'll see how long i i isn't it crazy when like someone you haven't talked to in years messages you for a quick little favor? Like, what? My episode on The Skinny Confidential comes out tomorrow. So, be sure to go listen, y'all. Um, it's kombucha in a wine glass and bringing it back in the summer. Also comment below your big, your favorite wine. I'm not like the biggest wine girl. There are wines that I like. Like I love Aveline, Abel, Aveline, Cameron Diaz and Catherine Howard's line. I like the white wine. I'm a white wine girl. And I love that wine. I, I always bring that to like events and family stuff and whatever, when, especially when I'm in charge of wine. But I need new ones. I know there's like organic wines that are good. Like I need, what is orange wine? People talk about that too. Like is it just red, white, orange? Where do I get orange wine? But I like orange wine. I think I might like orange wine, honestly. But when it's like nice to myself um, on weeknights, I work out pretty much every week, night, weekday, morning. So I even just one glass of wine, like it just make me slow the next morning. Maybe it wouldn't actually. I don't know, I feel like wine makes you so puffy, you know? Anyways, let me know if any of you can fix my problems and find a wine that doesn't make you puffy and I would like. Comment below, I'd really appreciate it. All right, well, I'm already crying, so look at that. It's crazy. Trigger warning, I'm back. That honestly probably gave everyone nightmares. I'm sorry, where did I? <gasps> no, I left my Kindle all the way downstairs. I just remembered. And now this is gonna be on for 30 minutes. So I guess I'm gonna be on TikTok. I did start a new book last night. Um, I read about half of it. I have been really reading a ton. Kindle, let's see. It's a Elin Hildebrand, Hilder, Hildebrand book. Um, follow Kate Books for book updates. Anyways, I'm probably gonna finish the last half of it tonight because that's just like nights where I'm in bed before as the sun is about to set. And I get in bed and I start reading. Oh my god. Also, I decided today that I'm going to record an entire solo podcast episode on reading books. How to get into reading. How I read so many books in 2021. How I read so much now. Um, Kindle versus real. We're getting all into it and I'm sharing everything in that. So I'm going to record that on Friday. But anyways, I'm in my matching pajama set. Fitz is next to me. Look at Mr. Handsome Man with his summer shoes. The poor guy. He's the poor guy. Um, he didn't move at all last night when I was in bed, so I slept basically falling off the bed. But anyways, I have to do this for 30 minutes. It helps a lot with inflammation and acne. I do the blue setting because that's what that specifically is for. Cannot remember where this mask is from. If anyone knows, please let me know. I always want to link it, but... I just like, cannot remember, and there's no name anywhere. Oh my god, what a great... What a great uh, change of events. I'm going back to my tried and true skincare, which is Curology. 
This is not sponsored. I've worked with them before, but I've been using their skincare forever. I've just been using new stuff that I had. I didn't get the shipment in, whatever. So it came. I'm going back to it, this overnight thing. It's obviously personal skincare, but my overnight formula, whatever it is, helps so much. Need this to be fixed. All right, there we go. All right, so I have my red light on. These are just color changing light bulbs. They help you to like relax and unwind. I'm going to finish my book tonight. Oh, I'm only on 43%, so maybe I won't finish out tonight, but I do feel like I have a lot of energy right now. It's currently nine, that time is wrong, but I also, I'm excited because Ed Milet's new book came out and I like reading nonfiction in the morning, so I'm gonna wake up and film like a morning routine in the morning. Hello, how many times can I say morning? Anyways, it's Summer People by Elin Hildebrand. That's what I'm wearing. What am I saying? That's what I'm reading today. Okay, I literally have to go. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I love you guys so much. Subscribe if you guys haven't already, um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Yeah. I watched, like, I think, like, the first videos I watched were those makeup collection videos. Uh -huh. for literally every single product. Yes. You know, like, the Alex drawers from Ikea, all that oh shit. Oh, my God. What so, about like, it? I, like, have watched... It's just weird. Who all have you, like, watched on YouTube? Um... Yeah, Sarah Bell. Yeah, our I'm, queen. I'm getting dinner with her tonight. Actually. Oh my god, love that. Love our queen.